What up folks, this is going to be another quick video so I can look back on this and remember. Uh, this is going to be nothing special. Just some uh, memory stuff. So this is what your diff is going to look like when you pull it out of your 8 speed. Okay, you're going to take your bolts out. And then this is the 1 inch axle, so it's got the 4 pinion there. Alright, now let's take a look inside. Now to look inside, clearly, just take them bolts out that I showed you earlier. You pull that whole top off. It's okay if you pull a couple of these uh, these gears out and they're stuck in there. Ain't no big. You can pull them out, put them back in here. Now, these gears, they just slide right out pretty easy. I'm doing this with my phone. I don't have the GoPro set up, so a little wacky on this. But, okay, so you can take this guy off. He just pulls right off. You don't need him. Check this out. Huh. Slides right out, huh? Now with the 8 pin, you can gear flip it, like in one of my other videos. But this is uh, definitely going to have to be welded. This won't be strong enough if you flip these. So, the plan with that is, set your bull gear off like we've done already. Put this guy back on here without the bull gear. Bolt it. Tack it right here. And then once you got that bad boy tacked, take this off. We'll lay the weld to these uh, gears. Lay it on there pretty good. Pull gear back on. Axle back on. And you gotta do that. You don't have to do the welding fast, but you have to kind of do this process fast because, you know, when you weld, the heat draws. And it gets super tight. And then it'll twist a little bit and draw this way. And then it'll be a big pain to fit this back on there. I know that a uh, creepy crawler had an issue with that once. He said that if you don't kind of do that process a little quick and keep an eye on what you're doing that it just will shift these will not work and you'll have to end up maybe drilling one of these out just a hair enough to get one of these to fit or do a little bit of grinding and you know we we're going to try to avoid that which is the best thing to do so yeah you guys really don't care probably but that's okay that's okay it's all good we'll figure it out all right i'll show you guys here in a second Okay, here it is, bolted back together without the bull gear in the center. And I want to clean these, I want to wipe these off a little bit better. We already cleaned these in uh, acetone and got a lot of that oil off of the actual gears. But we've been wiping off this uh, diff housing or whatever you want to call this. Yeah, so we're going to weld right there. And then right there. We're going to tack that. And then once we have it tacked, we're going to pull them out there, or pull the top back off, lay a pretty sweet weld on the inside. Not too much on the inside, because you got to, you know, got to have some room in there. So lay a good tack on the inside, and then lay a really good one on the outside. And, I mean, I'm not a pro, you know, I'm pretty sure there's better ways to do it. <laughs> but, that's how we're going to do it. And I've been running a, a welded four pinion and sleepy for over a year and you guys see in my videos how I beat the crap out of him so yeah I'm pretty sure it'll be okay alright guys well this was supposed to be for me but I think it kinda ended up to be for you guys in the end anyways so that's okay that's what YouTube's for don't mind my mess it was a disaster as you guys will see later on I'm pretty sure Holler Crawler which is a new YouTuber has been riding with us in the last couple videos he went to Hoverts with us He's actually going to release a pretty sweet video on all this. So you guys might see me uh, me and Ron and uh, Holler Crawler <laughs> dancing around and beating on this thing and acting pretty goofy and probably doing things the way you shouldn't do things. But that's okay. It works. You know, we make it happen with no issues. We take care of these things. We bring them back to life. So, All right, folks. Be sure to go check out his channel. I'll put the link down in there. Pretty sure he's going to have a sweet video on this. Uh, shout out to Ron for going and welding this thing up for me. Yeah, so. Alright guys, I'm going to hop off here. Thank you all. I don't know so in this city 
I'm Kentucky born and bred I'm just minding my business Everywhere I go There's trouble up ahead